Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Zombie with Zombie Cigar Reviews. Back with another review for you guys. Today, we'll be checking out the Sweet Jane by Deadwood Tobacco in Joy State. Uh, this is not an infused cigar. A lot of people think that it is. It, isn't, um, it does have a sweet tip, though. Um, it's a Corona. The uh, size is 5x46. The wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. Um, the binder and fillers are proprietary, so that means they're keeping it on the hush. They don't want everybody to know any secrets. Um, but other than that, we'll, um, we'll get into it. it smells um, like some chocolate and vanilla, maybe, like mixed together. Very sweet smelling. The foot is shaggy closed so let me get this cut and torched and we'll get on our way yeah you can definitely taste that sweet tip it's not it's actually not too sweet though so that's that's a good thing a lot of people when they get these sweet tips they have this sweetness to it that kind of overbearing sometimes but you can tell it's not going to take away from this one at all on the cold draw we get a little bit of chocolate maybe some fruit some kind of fruit all right i'm uh i'm gonna toast it and get started All right, so I got it lit. As you can see, there's a lot of smoke coming off the foot. Nice amount of smoke. Um, the sweetness is still there, obviously, off the tip. Um, I'm not getting too much out of it right now. A little bit of chocolate. Yeah, just a little bit of chocolate right now, so I'm going uh, I'm, to uh, keep smoking on this and uh, see what else we can pull out of it, all right? All right, so getting into this first third. I'm getting some chocolate, a little bit of coffee, like some mocha on it. Um, not much else. That sweetness is still on the lips. Um... It kind of reminds me of something I just recently tried that I didn't do a review on or anything um, called the Half Pipe, which is um, a cigar that's basically, the filler is pipe tobacco. And uh, it kind of reminisces a little bit about that, just just the flavor that I'm getting off of it and the way the, the sweetness of the tip is with the tobacco that's in this it kind of resembles that but this is a lot smoother there was a harsh taste in the other one but this one is a lot smoother the aroma on this cigar is phenomenal too it smells really great so i'm gonna continue smoking get further down in this first third and uh on this uh, first third on the retro hell you like a floral almost not an overpowering floral like 
potpourri or anything like that. It's just it's a nice, subtle, like floral note. As we're approaching the second, like we're halfway through the first, I'm noticing that there's a little bit of a burn issue. It's getting a little bit uneven. I might have to touch it up. I hope not. But um, just a quick update. All right. All right. So as we're about to get into the second third, you can see that the ashes pretty solid. It's not flaky. Um, the burn did start to catch up a little bit, so that's a good thing. Um, right now, I'm still predominantly getting uh, the chocolate and the mocha on this, and through the retro hell is a. Uh, Still that floral, not a like I said, it's not a potpourri though. It's just it's something is pleasing to the nose and to the sense. It's like this is something you could smoke in a crowd and no one's gonna be offended by the way it smells. Um, people will probably come up to you and ask you what you're smoking because of the way this cigar smells, the aromatics of it. I'll call this a party cigar. You can smoke this at a party. You could enjoy the smoke because the tobacco is phenomenal in it so far. And like I said, it's just, it's a good smoke. The band will catch people's eye. They'll want to come see what you're smoking. And on the second, third, um, I'm still, like I said, I'm still getting the coffee. A little bit of mocha in there and the chocolate. The sweetness on the tip is is slightly uh, came off. Um, you know, also on the retro hell now, I'm getting I'm getting some faint pepper. Like it's very faint black pepper. Like you could barely you could barely even tell it's there. But if you if you search for it, you'll find it. So I'm gonna continue with the second third and uh, right, come so back. Obviously I'm doing the yummy bitches. So next week I'll review one of the other sisters. Um, leave a comment on which one you guys would like to see out of the Crazy Alice, which is in Pyramid, or the Fat Bottom Betty, which is in Robusto. So just leave a comment and whichever one you guys choose that's the one I'll be smoking. All right, so. Getting into the second third. Um, on the retro hell now, I'm trying to get a little bit of woods on there with that floral smell to it. Um, as you can see, the ash holds on pretty long. Um, just falling off, I'll say we're like maybe a third through the second third, so it holds on pretty long. Um, as far as notes, still same thing, chocolate um, and some mocha. The sweetness is definitely on the tip, pretty much started to fade on this. I mean, it's still there faintly, but like I said, the sweetness on the tip, don't let that scare you away if you don't like that sweet and stuff. It's, it's not overbearing at all. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it right now on this uh, for the second, third. If I get any updates, I'll come back and let you guys know what's going on. Update. Just so you know, look, the burn has definitely caught up to itself, so the construction on this is pretty phenomenal. Usually you have to touch it up, but it actually caught up on its own. Uh, still the same flavors and notes I'm getting out of it. Retro Hell, still the floral and 
the woods. I'm thinking it's a little bit of like a cedar maybe. The chocolate is definitely like the predominant that I'm getting out of this. Now, remind you, everyone's palate is different. So if you get the cigar, if you don't taste those, it's because your palate might be a little bit different than mine. This is just what triggers in my mind when I'm smoking this in the flavor. But it's still phenomenal. Good smoke output. Um, I said on the retro hell, there's, there's a slight pepper, like a very slight pepper. Um, the sweetness on the tip is pretty much gone now. So all you're getting is the good tobacco flavors and notes out of this. So the sweetness isn't hindering any of that. So usually when you get a sweet tip cigar, the sweetness, once it's off, you get a nasty tobacco taste. But on this one, it does not have a nasty tobacco taste. The tobacco on this is phenomenal. Whatever it is, like I said, it's proprietary, so that means it's on the hush. So if you know what it is, you can't tell. They're liable to send people to your door and kill you. That's a joke. But, um, yeah, man, so I'm going to continue smoking as we get into the final third, and I'll come back with some more thoughts and stuff. So, finishing up the second third, I took the band off. Still pretty razor sharp, still good smoke output. Same flavors, the chocolate and the mocha. Um, on the retro hell, still uh, that floral and uh, cedar. Yeah, there's a little bit of cedar on the retro hill now. It's very faint though. Um, the pepper is gone. That was there. It was not long. This is definitely a mild cigar. Mild to medium. Um, very enjoyable. I'll come back with, you know, the final third when I get a little bit more into it see if anything has changed right now it's still just a good pleasant smoke and uh, I'm really enjoying it so I'll come back All right, real quick I wanted to do a quick shout out I feel like it's very appropriate I haven't really mentioned in any of my videos but um, I want to shout out to my distinguished ruffians I want to thank you guys for your support. Those of you that have been supporting me and uh, helping spread word on my channel, um, thank you guys for you know good conversation first and foremost. I mean, any questions you might have about cigars, uh, things you might not like, things you might like, these guys will be there to you know help you, encourage you. Um, I mean, the brotherhood and sisterhood of cigars is a tight knit group. Um, and these guys definitely are a tight-knit group. We have different chapters, so shout out to every chapter. Um, just thank you guys for letting me be a part of this. I feel it's an honor and a privilege, and uh, this one's for you guys. All right, thank you guys. We're getting close to the end on this. So in this final third, the sweetness is all gone on the tip. Um, still chocolate and like some mocha on the retro hell just like I said it's a nice floral aroma with some like cedar mixed in there um, the tobacco on this is still amazing like I said it might be like some kind of pipe tobacco or something I mean, I've never smoked pipe tobacco before, except for in that half pipe cigar that I smoked, but I didn't like that cigar too much. But this one, if this is pipe tobacco that might be in here, maybe. 
it's, it's good. I enjoy it. So, I'll come back with my final thoughts on this. Um, the burn is still pretty good. Construction is pretty good. The smoke output is great. The flavor is good and consistent. It's good to have consistency sometimes. And um, if that's what you're aiming for with this one, then you guys nailed it. So, kudos for that. But I'll come back with the rating and uh, any final thoughts on this. Alright. Alright you guys, so for the rating on this one for Kerbal Pill or the way it looks, the band on the Yummy Bitches and specifically on this one are really nice. They have a good quality on the band. I mean this the cigar itself was a dark chocolate looking wrapper. And then the closed foot was nice addition to it. So for Kerbal Pill and look on this one, I'm gonna give it a one. I like the way it looked right off the bat. So if you're into you know the whole Day of the Dead and Sugar Skulls stuff, then you're gonna like the way this one looks. I'm into it. All right. So as far as price, I believe this one was about I want to say like nine nine dollars maybe. So for price, I'm gonna give it a I'll give it a half a point. Um, it probably could have been a little bit cheaper. Um, it's still good for the price though. It's it's not a it's not a super extravagant price. I'm pretty sure the average price on these is gonna be between eight and ten dollars. Um, one of the ones I did pick up was eleven, but the place that I got it from just inflated the price. So I'm not gonna you know take points off of it for that but I feel like it could have been a little bit cheaper for this one this one like I said was about nine dollars uh, construction I'm gonna give it its full point uh, it had a small burn issue at the beginning but it self-corrected no other issue since then it's been smoking well so you know I give it a full point on that as far as flavor, there wasn't too many flavors. Um, it was just the chocolate and mocha, like I said, and like the nice tobacco flavor that was in there. Um, so flavor and complexity, I'm gonna give it a half point. I feel like it could have probably been more, but it is what it is, and it was still a solid and good smoke. Overall experience, I'm gonna give it a half point. So, you know, with that being that, I enjoyed it. I did. I enjoyed the smoke. All right, so finishing this out, I'm loving it. But the rating was three and a half. Uh, Drew Estate produces great cigars. They're a staple in the industry. I really enjoyed it. I recommend you getting, you know, the Sweet Jane. Try it. It's worth it. Um, I appreciate you guys chilling with me, watching my review. So please subscribe like if you don't like it you can give me a thumbs down but you know you liked it don't hit that dislike button give me a thumbs up um other than that just thanks for rocking with me man the other two videos will be up pretty soon i appreciate it hope you guys have a good day i hope you guys have a good cigar again just thanks for rocking with me peace